to all future scientists out there. Deped TV welcomes you to a day full of learnings and discoveries. I am Mam Con, your grade 7 science teacher. Come and join me. We are Sci Connected. Here are the goals for today's lesson. Number one, determine scientific method. Number two, identify the steps of a scientific method. Number three, appreciate that scientific method can be used in finding answers and solutions to your own problems. How are you today? Hope you're all doing well. Before we start, Make sure you have your pen, paper, and self-learning module. Let me first give you a short science fact. Did you know that planet Earth is 4.5 billion years old now? Yes, planet Earth doesn't have a birth certificate. Scientists spent hundreds of years to determine the age of the planet. Scientists base the age of the planet to the rocks in the Earth's ever-changing crust as well as the rocks in the Earth's neighbors such as the Moon and visiting meteorites. The Earth is our home planet that provides us life and also protects us from space. So, we should always be thankful and at the same time take care of the resources from the Earth so it will still exist for the next generations. Amazing, right? That's the short science fact with MomCon. When I was a kid, even probably now, I have so many questions in my mind. Like, how did life on Earth existed million years ago? How do plants grow? Why is the sky blue? Do you know the origin of those things and what are they made of? In science, there is a way of answering questions. Want to know what it is? It is the scientific method. And we will be learning about it today. Before we start, let me ask you some questions. Are you ready? Prepare your pen and your paper. So, let's begin! Read each question carefully. Write only the letter of the correct answer for each question. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answer. Number one. Which of the following questions is best considered as scientific? A. Who invented electricity? B. How long did dinosaurs live on Earth? C. How many koalas are there in Australia? D. Does the amount of salt in water affect the temperature at which it boils? Number two, what is the process of obtaining information using your senses? A, inquiry, B, conclusion, C, observation, D, scientific method. Number three, what is the series of steps designed to help you solve problems and answer questions? A. Inquiry B. Surveys C. Interview D. Scientific method Number 4. In which step of the scientific method do we use graphs? A. Analyze data B. Asking questions C. 
making a hypothesis. D. Communicate results. Number five. When a scientist shares his findings with other scientists, he is blank. A. Experimenting. B. Analyzing data. C. Making hypotheses. D. Communicating results. Are you done? Let us check your answers. Number one. If your answer is letter D, that is correct. Does the amount of salt in water affect the temperature at which it boils? Number two. When you are obtaining information using your senses, you are making observation. And that is letter C. Number three. The series of steps designed to help you solve problems and answer questions is scientific method. Letter D. Number four. We are using graphs in scientific method if we are analyzing data. And that is letter A. Number five. When he shares his findings with other scientists, he is communicating results. And that is letter D. There you go. Now, let me ask you this. How do you usually solve your problem or answer a question? In my case, what I do is I analyze the problem at hand and then think of a possible solution and try the solution to see if it is effective or not. For now, let us explore the steps of the scientific method. Are you ready? That's great! All we have to do is to read and understand the selection to be flashed on screen. Then, let's start! The scientific method is like a roadmap that you follow to get to that destination. It is the process by which science is carried out. Scientific method is a step-by-step -step procedure to help you solve problems and answer questions. When using scientific method, the first thing you need to do is to make observations. Just look around you. The possibilities for observations and questions are endless and you may find it through observations. After observation, you may come up with a question. The next step is to develop a hypothesis. Hypothesis is an educated guess. Next is to conduct an experiment to test the hypothesis. After your experiment, make sure to record the observations and data so you will be able to analyze the results. Finally, you need to draw conclusions. The main aim is to summarize the findings of your experiment and to see if your hypothesis is accepted or rejected. Let us further understand each step. Let us identify the six steps of the scientific method. Number one, make observations. Number two, come up with a question. Number three, develop a hypothesis. Number four, Conduct an experiment. Number five, record and analyze the results. Number six, draw conclusions. Scientific method is used to arrive for the right answers to your questions. Science is a way of thinking and a way of gathering knowledge about the world that is both accurate and reliable. It is the quest to understand and improve our knowledge of the world around us 
and how the things in it work or why they work the way they do. Scientific method is a series of steps designed to help you solve your problems and answer questions. Let's elaborate the steps of the scientific method. First step is to make observations. How are you going to observe? Yes, that's right. You need to use your five senses. The sense of sight, sense of smell, sense of taste, sense of hearing, and sense of touch. Second step, come up with a question. Based on your observations, you may now formulate a question. Either a question or a problem that needs to be solved. You know, the basic WH questions. The third step is to develop a hypothesis. A hypothesis is an educated guess. It is a possible answer to the question you have formulated. Keep in mind that it does not matter whether your hypothesis is right or wrong. Fourth step, conduct an experiment. In this step, you will test your hypothesis through experimentation. You will try your hypothesis to see if it answers your question and if not, you think of another hypothesis. The fifth step is to record and analyze the results. Make sure to be detailed in documenting your results. You may use tables and graphs to convey your results. This will also make your analysis easier. Finally, the sixth step is to draw a conclusion. This is now the opportunity to talk about your hypothesis, your experiment, your results, and your conclusion, which is the final answer to your problem or experiment. Conclusion is connected to hypothesis, and on this part, you may now conclude that your hypothesis is accepted or rejected based on the result of your experiment. Now that scientific method is clear, let us have an assessment. Consider yourself as a scientist. The steps of scientific method are flashed on the screen. Match the corresponding description for each step given. You may write the letter of your answer in your paper. Number one. Identify a problem based on your observation. Time's up! When you identify a problem based on your observation, you ask a question. Correct answer is letter B. Number two. Summarizes the results, either accept or reject the hypothesis. Time's up. When you summarize the results, either accept or reject the hypothesis, you actually draw a conclusion. Correct answer is letter F. Number three, getting information with the use of your senses. Okay, time's up. When you get information with the use of your senses, you make observations. That's right, letter A. Number four, the data from the experiment will be collected and analyzed. So, time's up. Once the data from the experiment is collected and analyzed, you analyze the result. The correct answer is letter E. Number five, educated guess.
So, your time is up. When you have an educated guess, you have made a hypothesis. Letter C. Number 6 is a step that is used to test hypotheses. Time's up! When you test your hypothesis, you have experimentation. Letter D. Remember, scientific method is the step a scientist will follow when conducting an experiment or when working on a scientific problem. However, the steps may be used by you in finding answers and solutions to your queries and problems. Be a keen observer and a critical thinker. In preparation for the next episode, you may prepare two apples, water, milk, juice, soda, and containers. All right, so it's time to answer and learn more from one of the questions posted in Sci Connected on DepEd TV page. From Sender Leslie, age 16 years old, from Christian Ecclesiastical School, Division of San Jose del Monte City. Her question is, why does every cell in our body contain DNA? Not all cells in our body contains DNA. Mature red blood cells, cornified cells that are found in our hair, skin, and nails locked in DNA because these cells don't contain nucleus. DNA is vital for all living things. It is very important for inheritance, coding for proteins, and genetic instruction guide. DNA instructs each cell's development, reproduction, and ultimately death of organisms. That's it, Leslie. It's my pleasure to know that I helped you on your question. If you guys have questions, simply post it on Sci Connected on DepEd TV page. Kindly follow this format. Hope that you have learned something new today. Thank you so much for sticking with me and see you on the next episode. Again, this is Mom Con scientifically saying, think critically, do things differently, and that develops your ability.